Hello everyone, I am just going to take a minute to show you how we can have our children tell you what they want by using pictures. Some of you may have heard of this referred to as pecs and maybe have heard of all the phases that go into pecs. Um, but before we start, I just want to make a disclaimer that this is not anywhere close to a pecs training or an official pecs training. Um, learning pecs is an incredibly detailed process. Um, it, the training's incredibly expensive as well. Um, and uh, the point of this video is just to really give you an idea of how we use pictures in the classroom to communicate. So hopefully you can try it at home. So I'm at my friend's workstation here. I just covered up his name for his privacy, but this is his, um, his picture board. Um, we use a lot of pecs for food. That's a great place to start. Um, and this really can't just be any food. It has to be food that the student really likes. So you know your kid, you know what they like. So um, this is just from, you know, I've known this kid now for the school year. So um, we, we know the things that he likes. Um, so the idea is to motivate them to use the pictures and make that connection. Um, as you can see here, this friend, um, has quite a few pictures so he's become you know really skilled at picking what he wants um but for some friends we might just start with with the one so you might just put the picture out in front of them um kind of preemptively knowing something that they really want and as they put the picture in your palm you would give them what they wanted so when your child wants a snack they can select a picture off their board and place it in the palm of your hand and you would say if it was pretzel you would say pretzel and immediately give them what they asked for or try to give it to them uh pretty quickly after they give you the picture um when we start this process out we want the students to really make that connection that if they use the pictures they're going to get what they want when they use it and often that is the reason why a lot of the friends in our classroom are having tantrums or challenging behaviors because they can't tell us what they want and that's incredibly frustrating. So this is a little way for them to be able to do it. So if they're telling you what they want, we have to show them that they're gonna get it. So if they're using the pictures, we want them to know that they're gonna get it. Obviously, we can fade this back um, as the child gets the hang of it, but in order to kind of make that connection and develop that routine, we want to make sure that we're fulfilling those requests as they happen. So uh, this friend's kind of at the point where he knows um, and understands the routine. So he knows that this comes out at meal times, and other than otherwise, it goes right here in his workstation drawer, and he takes it out then. So um, one last really important thing to keep in mind is that we want to make sure that all of everything on here is available so if we don't have crackers in the classroom i'm going to just take the cracker picture off um so he won't you know go to make that request to me and i won't be able to give it to him because that can be confusing um and could lead to you know some frustration there for our friends so um if you'd like me to make pictures for you um, or a Velcro board like this for your child to have at home. I know a lot of your child children already have picture communication books um, that have been made for them. But if they, if you would like any specific pictures, I can make them for you, laminate them, put Velcro on them, send them home. Um, and if you'd like to discuss um, any particular questions you might have about your child and using pictures, um, we can definitely make the time to do that. But I hope this helps. Have a good one.